So I just finished season one of On My Block. Can't get this shot on my mind, so I thought I should rant about it. Maybe if I rant about it and post it on my channel, I'll get over it and stuff. I'm leaving outside because they cleaning inside and it's all noisy and I ain't comfortable enough to make reviews in front of people. I wait until the house is empty and shit and somebody's about to pass right now. So yeah, I'm going back inside. Anyway, let me rant. What happened to Ruby though? Like this is going to be spoiler like off the bat. The ending was just something else. Like I did not expect the ending to go that way. <sighs> like Jamal, Olivia, Caesar, Monse. I think in the overall scope of things, if Monse and Caesar were just honest, a lot of things wouldn't have turned out the way he turned out. Damn man. Caesar's gang affiliation fucked up. Like Ruby's life at the end. Oh, I hope, like this is a show that you need to have a second season just waiting after that episode. I hope they don't make us wait a year or some shit like that. Yo, it's gonna be the hardest year if I still remember the show. <laughs> like it's gonna bug me for a while because I really enjoyed the show. It was funny. It was like the Goonies. But a modern take to it. The music was fantastic. I mean like the relationships were complicated when Olivia was Caesar and Rudy love, loved Olivia, then Manse loved Caesar, Caesar loved Manse, Manse in you know, a mother issues when the mother realized. I thought we were gonna end it on some, you know, like everything sucks if you watch that Netflix series and everything sucks when it ended. Um, Luke's father showed up at the end. I thought, you know, her mother would like show up, build on the story, but it was strong enough for Jamal to, you know get his treasure and basically Rudy and Oliver Olivia fighting for their lives that was just oh shit let me just talk about some highlights of the shit um Jamal and the whole ball lie was hilarious but he, he, I felt like while that was happening his story needed more and what is it called that River World or Riverside or whatever that heist that they did when he got all the money that made the story more interesting and made it more important at some point when they needed it to save Caesar you know he, his character was just not that interesting at the beginning then he became my favorite character because Rudy was taking that cup you know he was helping so many people out. It was such a smart mouth. I guess I think of myself as a smart mouth. That's why I really gravitated towards him. Uh, I wish I had the boss to tell my crush, like, uh, what did he say specifically? Like, say you might not know it now. Enjoy yourself with Caesar, but you will be mine. Shit like that. Yo, she was like, here's at the end. Imagine, like, they legit gave him his dream girl, then, like, take his life, kinda. And it, that whole breathing situation when they made him breathe, <gasps> to the credit. <gasps> yeah, that was just something else, though. Oh, that's so messed up. Like, everybody who, like, who likes that show is gonna low key blame Caesar. Marcel for the situation they put Ru Rudy in and the black dude who was part of that other gang the dude made you he let you live dude he let you fucking live and what do you pay him back by you shoot his ass the fucking Kintiera nigga shit shit that was uncalled for that was so uncalled for yo that ending just got me shook because I'm watching something else right now. Can't even concentrate because I want to make a review. I want to talk about it. I'm out here outside. Look, that's so so for you. Anyway, fantastic series. It was entertaining. It's like everything sucks. I really like it. Everything sucks too. Maybe I'll put a half, half and talk about everything sucks also. But nah, everything sucks. Nah. That didn't have me shook like this so probably won't do it i really enjoyed the show it, 
if you didn't guess it everything sucks you should check it out also if you especially if you liked on my block fantastic what else did i note about this series Hell, crusty and shit. Sorry for my hair. Oh, I look so weird over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at myself and I'm supposed to look at the camera, but it feels weird looking at like a dot on my camera. I mean, my phone screen. So, and I know I'm engaging with y'all. I'm looking deep in your eyes. I mean, like, I'm, I'm really looking deep in your eyes right now. What you gotta say? <laughs> I looked in there again. I wasn't actually looking deep in your eyes. But anyway. I really enjoyed the series. Messed up how they ended it. It's like that was like even though Oscar was a gangster and all that shit, you know, the whole season they were kind of trying to get Caesar out of the gang situation, but it really got serious because they were they were guessing which gun people were using for a while, so it wasn't that serious for a second. But when Rudy got shot. And Olivia, she got real. They fucking busted her lung, I think. Cause you don't just <gasps> with nothing. This thing is already over six minutes. Goddamn. But anyway, recommend you watch the series. I enjoyed it. I love it. Took me two days to watch it. Cause life. Ah, <laughs> oh, cause I had to watch other movies at night and shit. Y'all can be binge watching shit. I wanna binge watch something today. Anyway, I'm just rambling right now because I'm trying to think about something else. Like this show. Like Marcel and Caesar's relationship though. Like there's so many moments Marcel just made it too complicated. Just because she was trying to blame it on not breaking up the family, but she was breaking up the family. Every time the truth almost came out, like it made that point kind of it in void, like it, it just made it pointless, you know what I'm saying? Just straight up pointless that she was trying to argue the fact that she doesn't want to destroy the family. But every time people call her out on the bullshit, she'll say something in retaliation. I guess losing a mother gave her thick skin, too thick, in my opinion, because oh. She, she just did some fucked up shit. Like, what she said to Jamal? What's so damn bad? I believe Jamal when he legit had nothing to do with the situation. He was legit the only one without no relationship trauma. But he was always the one they yelled at at the end. I understood why he decided not to go to Kinsey yeah, yeah, and all that shit. It was a smart decision. Being the scapegoat was a little too much, I guess. What else I gotta say? I got nothing else to say.